Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today's video, we're gonna be testing out and putting together Eleanor's sand bath. So for those of you who don't know and didn't watch my previous videos, um, Eleanor is my hamster. She is a dwarf robo female. And I just got in her sand bath that I ordered off of Amazon. And I'm really interested to see if it works for her, if she likes it. I just put in a hair mask. So let's hope that we can put this together by the time this stuff is ready to be washed off. Anyways, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so we just ordered Eleanor's sand bath and it came right now. Just so went to go get it. Um, so let's go ahead and open it. This is my teddy bear cheesecake that I got at Walgreens. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and open it up. And then we're gonna um, take her out to playpen and, and have her test it out. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm trying not to show the packaging. I mean, I could show this, but um, this is what her bath came in. I'm just trying not to show my address. All right, and in this package, we got another box and nothing else. Now for the actual box that there is, this box is freaking heavy. So I'm assuming this is the sand. All right, let's open it up. At least we know the sand will last us for a good time because this is huge. All right. My dwarf robo will not go through this all fast. Okay. So I ordered a sand that was recommended to me by another YouTuber that also um, does hamster content. Uh-oh. Looks like the sand is kind of leaking out into the box. But uh, this is it, it's the Repti sand for reptiles. Um, it's reptile sand, but a lot of people are using it for their hamster. There was great reviews on it for hamsters. So I ordered it for hamsters. I'm gonna keep it in the box until we need it because that is ridiculously sandy on the outside and we didn't even open it yet. Um, so right now I'm just peeling off the sticker, my address, so I can show you guys my actual box. Okay, so let's go ahead and unpackage the actual bath, shall we? This is a very small and light um, box. Right here it says the Pop It Pop Hamster Sand Bath. Um, it's in pink. Alrighty, let's open it up and see. Oh, it's so pretty. And the reason it's so small is because, again, she's a dwarf robot hand, so she doesn't need that much space. But look at how cute. Oh, and you can close it and it opens. There's air holes. There's a little tunnel for her to climb in through. I think this only opens um, when she's actually like, if you want to refill the sand with it. But um, I'm not sure if this actually twists on. What does this do? I don't know what that is for. But there's a great amount of... A little dirty on the inside but um it's fine okay so i think we'll just twist this nozzle on to this one i don't really know what you do this but i'm just gonna assume that you twist it on here okay there oh okay so is that like oh so you can extend the tunnel length i think i think that's how it works okay well, let's make it a little decent. So I'm just gonna try to unscrew it to make it a little bit longer. Um, I guess I'll do. I think this is what that's for. I'm not even sure myself. Um, no instructions or anything came with it. But anyways, it's super dusty. But let's go ahead and put it together and pour in some sand. I'm really nervous because I'm not trying to get sand everywhere. Um, you know what we could do? So I got a little mug that I used to pick up Eleanor in, and I'm just gonna scoop out the sand with this. Okay. All right, it's opened. The danger is open. The reason I say danger is because this thing could get everywhere in my room, and it'll probably be there for the rest of my life. Um, 
I don't really know how I'm gonna get this out because it's not really, this is too big. Um, I'm just gonna use her tunnel. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that's nice. It's also very cold. And I mean like really cold. Okay, first bit of sand in. Let me show you guys. So this is what the sand looks like. It's lightly colored. And it's a little cold from being outside, but um, it looks perfect for a sand bath. I mean, this is kind of the sand you'd see on a beach. Um, so what I'm doing, my tactic is putting the thing in and scooping it out and then putting it in there. Okay. So we're just gonna keep doing that. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Not surprised I did that. Okay. I'm not sure how much she needs. I don't wanna drown her in it. Um, so I'm just gonna do a good amount until it's pretty decent. I mean, this is the one I've seen other people use, so I figured it would be good for my hamster too. And I'll let you guys know how she likes it. Okay. We're almost there. Oh no! Oh. You guys, I make the biggest messes. Thank God I wasn't trying to do this outside the box, because probably made such a mess. The trick is to keep the paper towel rolls very level. Okay, I think that's good enough for a dwarf. Oh my god, it's so nice feeling. I know a lot of people use children's play sand, but uh, I couldn't find any that looked good enough for my hamster. Um, so we're just gonna use this one. All right. So here is um. Oh, you can kind of see the depth of it. There you go. Here is the color with the flash on. You can see that it's like super grainy, if this helps, putting it on myself. It is so soft, you guys. Um, I put it pretty deep. It's like that deep. Um, my whole, like, the whole crevice of this part. Again, I don't want to put it too deep, but I think this is enough. Um, and if you think your hamster's gonna make a mess, you can just shut the lid and they can breathe through here and here of course so i'm gonna go ahead and put it in eleanor's playpen and then bring her out into it and see if she likes it okay we'll see how that goes okay you guys so we got eleanor out and she is in her mug right now and she's a little frightened it's okay baby i'm right here and i'm just gonna try to feed her a treat to calm her down um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and open the bath and put her in it. Oh, okay, she did not like, the, where did she go? Oh, she's under there, baby, come here. So, I'm just trying to get her to go into it. I don't think she likes the idea. Um. Okay, so let's see if she does what hamsters do with the sand bath. Um, I don't think she knows what to do with it. I'm not sure if they're naturally tamed or trained to do it, but um, oh, I think maybe she's doing it. Or, like, I have no idea how she, how hamsters are trained to do it. Baby, go, go, do the bath. I don't think she knows how to do it, you guys. Am I supposed to train her how to do it or like, oh, she's grooming herself. Or maybe they don't need to do it when they're not dirty. Well, I'll always supply this to her in her cage for whenever she needs it. Um. Yeah, I don't really know. I'm opening up a little airway for her. I mean, she's grooming herself, but I think she's clean, so I don't think she needs to do it. Okay, well, there's Eleanor's perspective. Um. I mean, 
Did she like it? No idea. Um, but she is now eating the yogurt thing. Um, so I'm gonna go take her back to the cage now. And yeah, uh, I think Eleanor doesn't, I mean, I don't think she knows how to use it right now, but it does look like she laid a little turd. Um, so maybe, that, maybe she does like it, I don't know. <laughs> okay guys, so I put the sand bath right there in the um, corner of her cage. Uh, the little purple hideout but i put her back in and yeah so i think she'll use it when she's ready or when she feels dirty enough but i mean it is supplied to her when she needs it so yeah okay so i did a lot of research right now and apparently I think that the sand bath that I just gave Eleanor was too small for her to roll around in, so I'm just gonna supply with something a little bit bigger than that um, next to that one in case she prefers it more than she prefers the one that I gave her. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to find something around my room uh, that she can probably fit in better. I'm not sure if that was the case at all, but apparently it's working for other people, so I'm gonna try it with Eleanor. Um, I don't really know what to use. Um, I could maybe use like a drawer, my little jewelry box. I'm not really sure though. That one's gonna have to be mine. Okay. So um, I think I'm just gonna use, I think this is way bigger. Um, it's just kind of like a little drawer for my jewelry box. Clearly I'm gonna like wipe it down and clean it off but i think that's what i'm gonna have to do um and i did do research on my sand and apparently it is 100 percent safe for use for your hamster uh victoria rachel uses it for her hamsters um so yeah okay so i'm just completely wiping down with a baby wipe the little jewelry box um drawer I've had this jewelry box for so long, so it's a little bit dirty and dusty, which is why I wanted to go ahead and clean it. But I'm just gonna let this air dry real fast and go ahead and prepare it. Um, oh my goodness, what is she doing? Eleanor! Oh my god. Oh no, baby. What is she doing? Oh. Um, okay, I did not expect that from her. Um, that was really weird to see out of my peripheral. Um, okay, so if I was, I could see the bedding moving. Is she okay? Ellie, baby, are you okay? Oh no. Oh no, I just see the bedding moving. I shouldn't be that back. Is she okay? Is she okay? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, that was a little strange, I'm gonna lie. Okay. So I think she's finding the way around her cage now all of a sudden because she's wide awake. Um <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and prepare her sand bath. What am I Oh, okay. Um and people say to put like a hidey house over it so they feel safer. I think I can fit this little the wooden one that she loves. So let's see. Yeah, people say to put a, like, hidey house in your hamster sand bath so that way they feel safe. So I think that'll be perfect. Um, so that way they can dig and stuff. Wow. I think I'm just going to fill it up um, all the way. Sure. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, scoop this out into here. Okay. Um, so now that Eleanor is wide awake, let's hurry this up so I can go ahead and see if she'll like this one more. Um, okay. So, taking this out. I'm gonna go ahead and my mom is buying a little container for the sand. I want to keep it in this box. It's very cold, you guys. Like I'm very shook at how cold this thing is. Here. Oh 
hopefully that is a better angle for y'all so you can actually see what I'm doing. Basically just transferring sand. And um, they say to make it pretty deep so they can like have enough room to dig and burrow and stuff because this is how they clean themselves in the wild apparently. Okay guys, so I think it's filled enough. I'm just gonna level out the drawer now. Okay, so um, it's pretty deep. It's probably the same amount of deepness and depth as the original sand bath that I gave her. Same amount, but more sand, of course. A little, I'm just trying to level this out for her, okay? Let's go ahead and add in her Heidi. Okay, I think that works perfect. All right, so she can like dig and stuff and yeah, and it's pretty heavy so she won't be able to like tip this over or anything. So yeah, here it is. And let's just show you guys the, from the corner. And there it is, it's pretty deep. You guys can see. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I put her in the sand bath. And there she is. This is her new one. I put it in the corner. So now she has access to get in and out whenever she wants to. As you can see, she's willingly going into it. I think she likes it. That's a good girl. Um, yeah, she can get out easily, get in easily, as you can see. And then I put her old one. Oh, there she goes back in. And I put her old one right there by this wooden hutch and by her wheel and all that and then her food goes right here oops i forgot to put that in um so yeah there's that <laughs> It's a good girl, Lily Bear. You like your new sandbox? <laughs> sand, Eleanor. Oh my god, she is. Or no, I think she's eating something from her cheek pouches. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Just lay a turd right there, I guess. Wait, she had that in her mouth. What in the world? Oh, 
Oh, look at those cheek pouches. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she's definitely shoving something in there. I don't know what though. She better not be shoving that sand in. She's eating something. <laughs> There's she was grooming herself. I think she's cleaning her mouth. Good girl. <laughs> the funny thing is, is now I can spy on her from back here because I put it back in the window on purpose. That way I can see if she's actually using it in that moment instead of sticking my camera into there, which might scare her. So yeah, but she is now burrowed somewhere else. Um, looks like she likes it though. Oh, she's back there. You see the bedding moving. I'm not sure if I can. Maybe see her through here. Oh, is that her? I don't know, I cannot tell what that is. Oh no, just some more bedding. Well, that's usually where she makes her brows, but oh, she's back there. There she is, I can see her. Oh, well, oh, she's gone. Well, there's one of her burrows. At least I know where her burrows are now. Um, definitely looks like she's getting more comfortable in the enclosure because she's out and about instead of sleeping. Uh, she always does. And it's only day four of me owning her. So very good sign so far, you guys. And this is all a part of the taming process. You get her used to you. And usually most hamsters warm up to you when you... Um, have give them access to sand baths because when they're able to clean themselves they feel more at home and they don't have all that gunk from the original place that you bought them from so they can officially adapt to their new enclosure so that's why i think it's super beneficial to give them more than one sand bath or a big one overall um that way they can choose and really just adapt to it all and oh there she is there's my sweet girl <laughs> Oh, she's so precious. Look at that nose. Putting the light off in case she doesn't like that. Oh, she is so cute and precious. You can tell she likes her home. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching today's video. I will be linking the items that I got today in the description box below in case you are interested in buying one for yourself or for your hamster. Thank you again so much for watching this video. Feel free to check out the description box below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on post notifications so you don't get notified every single time I make a brand new video. Bye, everyone.